fractions and know how to solve them mathematically. Chemistry gets progressively harder as the year goes on. That's why you can't fall behind. When you start falling behind, it starts catching up with you. All right, question number one. 20 milliliters of a gas at 25 degrees Celsius in two atmospheres is transferred to a 40, milli con well, a 40 milliliter container at the same pressure. Two atmospheres, what's the new temperature of the gas? Nate, what do I get to ignore in this problem because it didn't change? I get to ignore my pressure. So I'm going to mark through the pressure and say I get to ignore it because it didn't change. Yes. It's not going to change your answer if you end up plugging it in anyway. It's not going to change your answer. All right. So I'm going to write down over here. V1 is 20 milliliters. Please stop. T1 is 25 degrees Celsius plus 273. That's going to give me 298K. And V2 is 40 milliliters. What is my T2? Now, I have a question, Jamal. What happened to my volume? I went from what to what? 20 to 40. My volume did what, Daniel? I know it changed. <laughs> I know it changed, but what did it do when it went from 20 to 40? What do we call that in math? It increased. It doubled. It doubled. It doubled. Now, question. When you plot <laughs> temperature versus volume, do you get a direct or indirect indirect graph? I mean, when you plot volume versus temperature, do you get a direct or indirect graph? Direct. That means when one goes up, the other goes up. When one goes down, the other goes down. When one doubles, the other doubles. I have to do any math. I really don't have to do any math. All right, I want to show you what I mean by that. V1 T2 equals V2 T1. I bet you the temperature that you get is going to be twice 298. I bet you. Because volume and temperature have a direct relationship. So let's look. 20 times T2, which is my unknown, equals 40 times T1, which is my 298. I bet you, without a calculator, I bet you, you got 596K. How about you? No. It's because, no. It's because I know that if the volume doubles and pressure is held constant, the temperature has to double. Because I know that volume and temperature have a direct relationship. So when one gets doubled, the other gets doubled. When one gets cut in half, the other gets cut in half. That's what it means to have a direct relationship. Did you know that? When two variables in math or science, when two variables, excuse me guys, have a direct relationship, then that means when one doubles, the other doubles. When one quadruples, the other quadruples. When one gets cut in half, the other gets cut in half. When one gets cut down to one third, the other gets cut down to one third. Did you know that? Okay, did everybody get 596 for their answer? And the unit is Kelvin, good, and you can circle that Kelvin here. All right, next question. It says 0.40 liters of a gas at 55 degrees Celsius at 1.75 atmospheres is moved to a 0.2 liter container at 55 degrees Celsius. What's the new pressure? All right, Nate, one more time. Who's held constant in question two? Temperature, so I get to ignore the temperature. I don't have to worry about the temperature. I have a V1 of 0.40, and I have a T, excuse me, a P1 of 1.75 atmospheres. I have a V2 of 0.2 liters, and I have a P2 that is unknown. Jamal, what happened to my volume when I went from V1 to V2? What happened to my volume? It decreased. How did it Zoe decrease? Not divided by two. Natalie, can you be as smart as I was in that last one? Hold on. Pressure and volume. Do they have a direct or 
indirect relationship. Indirect relationship. Pressure and volume have an indirect relationship. So if the volume got divided by two, cut in half, what happens to the pressure? It gets times by two. It gets divided by two. So it's double. So it gets times by two. It gets double. All right. So our little equation is going to be P1V1 equals P2V2. I'm leaving out that temperature because I don't have to include it. I'm going to have atmospheres as my final number. So 1.75 times 0.4 equals P2 times 0.2. I bet you my answer is going to be 3.50 when I do my math. 3.5, and I just do 3.5 because of sig figs, atmospheres, is my P2. Because pressure and volume, which is Boyle's law, have an indirect relationship. When one goes up, the other goes down. When one, the other goes up. Thank you. When one gets cut in half, the other one gets doubled. Okay, see how that works? But I can find a child if I need to. If I'm not feeling smart one day, I can just plug a chug and figure out what the answer is. Why two sig figs? Because of that 0. 0.40. That limits me to only two sig figs. All right, question three says, what is the, what is the volume of 1.5 moles at 273K and one atmosphere of pressure, and I'm given a value of R? Now, this time, I know it's not combined. <laughs> So there are no chances today. We have a test at class. Thank you. All right. So volume is unknown. Moles is 1.50. Temperature is 273. P is one atmosphere. And then my R is over here. So let's use our R to cancel out our units. Kelvin, moles, and atmosphere all go away with Kelvin, mole, and atmosphere. And I'm left with liters. The equation that I'm going to use here because of the R is pavinert, pavinert, and I'm just simply going to plug my numbers in. I'm going to plug in 1 times V equals 1.50 times 0 0.0821 times 273. Now, this one's not a direct or indirect what? relationship, so I can't just try to figure this out without plugging into the calculator. But, Laura, what did you get when you plugged it into the calculator? Uh -huh. Two seventy three times one point five oh times point oh eight two one. Thirty three point six. 33.6 unit would be liters. 33.6, that's a 33.6, and the unit would be liters. Yes? Yes. Okay, last one. Very much like it, except, where's my little, here he is. Very much like it, but, I go too far. Take all that away for a moment. Well, it's not being nice to me today. There we go. Okay, what is the volume when you have three moles at 202.6 kilopascals and 33 degrees Celsius? The R is 8.31. So V is unknown. N is 3. P is 202.6 kPa. And this is MOL. And T is 33 degrees Celsius. So when I add 273, I get 306, right? Yes, yes, yes. 306.0K. All right, my units are going to cancel out. They are going to be kilopascals, mole, and kelvin. Cancel out. And I'm left with a unit of liters. So I come over here. Here's my equation for the inert. And I'm going to plug in and I'm going to say 202.6 times my V equals 3 times my R times my 303.0K. 
That's the point zero. 306, you're right. I don't know where I got 303. 30 plus 273 instead of 33. 306.0, okay? Who has an answer for me, Daniel? What did you get for your number four, your volume? 37.0. Six five two. Okay, so that's an unrounded answer. Four sig figs, three sig figs, four sig figs. I need to round that to three sig figs. Daniel, how do I round that to three sig figs? Three. 37.7. The unit is liters. Okay, now let's just stop a moment that thing. <laughs>